Okay, you've just installed your Labrador application, you've plugged into the board, and this is the first dialog screen you see. No calibration data detected. Would you like to run calibration once connected? Now this will happen when you first open the Labrador application. It will happen if you short circuit something on your board, which causes the Labrador to lose calibration data, or you can do it manually, and I will show you how to do that as well. First thing you got to do is just simply say yes, you'd like to run calibration. So the Labrador will connect, and then once it's connected, it will put up another uh, dialog, which says it requires all devices to be turned off except for the oscilloscope channel 1 and channel 2. Is it okay for me to change your workspace? And on this one, you can just simply say okay. Then you'll get another dialog and it will say, please disconnect all wires from your Labrador board, then press OK. So now let's look at our Labrador and let's make sure that there is nothing connected. And so if you, if you see along here, along the rail, nothing's connected. You see in these right over here, nothing's connected. So we're in, we're in good shape. Nothing is connected to the Labrador. So we click OK, and we get another screen popping up, and I'll show you that to you, which says, please connect both oscilloscope channels to the outer shield of the USB connector, then press OK to continue. So we've got that pop up. Let's go back to the breadboard, and I'll show it in two slightly different manners. Um, and what I like to do is use the orange wire for oscilloscope channel 1. So I plug into the first pin on the outer connector, and then I plug in across from the Labrador. So you can see how I did it there. That's the orange one. And then I use a blue one, which I just lost. There it is. I use a blue wire to do channel two, which is the first pin on the inner connector. Plug it into the same row. So you've got that. And then one more wire, which just plugs into the row on the, on the breadboard. And I use a black one because we're going to ground it. And then what you'll do is that you'll just touch that one wire to the case. And why do I use it just one wire? Because it's a lot easier to, use, to just have to press one wire and then use your other hand to click enter than it is to try and get both wires um, and do it that way. What I also want to show you is when I do this, so now we've got, you can see the, um, the wire here. It's in my fingers. I'm trying to get my fingers out of the way. And you can see the USB case. When I touch it, you see the signal goes to zero. It's not touching, and now it's touching. So you want to, it, it's helpful to watch it on your screen because if it's not at zero, then you're not going to calibrate correctly. So I'm going to try and, this is where it gets even more difficult, try and hold, hold it so you can see. So you can see it's at zero. I'm touching the, the case. I can now press OK. Let me, I've got to get it to blue. So it, now I go back, I press OK. And it says, I'll show you on the screen, oscilloscope calibration complete. So you've got that. That's fantastic. Now you go to the next one. Now, power supply calibration. This is very simple. He makes it sound bad because it could be bad if you still had wires connected. So we want to disconnect all of our wires again. So let's go back to the breadboard. And you can see we've got those. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect. Actually, I'm going to disconnect the blue wire because that's channel two and the black wire because that was our extreme. And I'm just going to put the, the oscilloscope channel one wire kind of just hanging in the air, just, just like that. It's not plugged in anything. It's still plugged into the Labrador. And I'll show you here. You can see it's still plugged into the Labrador channel 1, but it's not plugged in anywhere else. So let's go back to the application, and it says click OK. We're going to click OK. Now it says connect oscilloscope channel 1 
to power supply positive and then press OK to continue. That's why we kept it plugged in. So now we go back to the breadboard and we're going to plug it into one of our positive slots. So make sure you plug it into the positive one. It's the red one. And make sure red is on the inner side of the breadboard. If you notice on the left-hand picture of the breadboard, you can see both red ports. This one, when you plug in the Labrador, it always has to have the red on the inside and ground on the outside. Otherwise, you've got the power supply reversed, which will contribute to some really bad situations. And you can see up top, what happens and, and that it's, it's, it's completely different. It's the reds on the outside and grounds on the inside. Okay, so let's go back to the application. We've done as they've said, connect channel one to positive, click okay. It takes a second. And then you get PSU calibration complete. So everything's good. So that's, that's fabulous. Now let me try showing you one more issue, and this is related to uh, the software bug. And let's go ahead, we've got orange plugged in to the, the positive. It stayed the same way, and I'm going to plug blue into ground. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. First, I'm going to make this screen bigger so you can see it a little bit better. And I'll show you how I've got this set up. I've got orange into positive and blue into ground and let's go back to the application and we should see that on the screen and except we should be around four volts and let's just go to this range dialog here and we type in five volts and we see a very flat line that's at four four point a little under 4.8 volts. When you see a line like that, that means the device isn't reading the voltage properly because no voltage is ever that stable. There's always a little bit of no uh, noise. In fact, if we wanted to measure it with our multimeter, we uncheck, uncheck oscilloscope and check multimeter, we can actually say the multimeter is now measuring it at 3 volts. And so clearly we've got some sort of bug. We do. What I found to fix it is you uncheck multimeter, you go back to oscilloscope one, still have the same issue, flat line now. Click paused and then uncheck paused. Wham, there. Now that looks like a real voltage reading. So we unclick oscilloscope, we go back to multimeter, and it shows it's at 5.01 volts. And if we want to do one more thing, I would, I would show you on the multimeter, but trust me, it's, it's, that's measuring the power output of the Labrador power supply, which is typically around 4.8 volts. We're really close, and uh, I'm, I'm satisfied with that reading. So now you've got, let me show you one last thing. You can always calibrate if you go to oscilloscope and calibrate. And that will um, that will do that will work as well. By the way, uh, the thing you always want to have is show range dialog on main page. That's a new feature that uh, Espotech just just added. And if you don't have the latest software, I highly encourage you to download the latest app, latest version of the app, and it will save that in between your um, runnings. And that's very 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 handy. So thank you, Chris, for doing that. And that's how to install and then fix, find and fix that, that uh, software bug.